Oh well, I don't know what it was. I'll just, like I said, I'll just test like a random ass game at some point and see, like, say, like, Kingdom Hearts. Like I've played and just like see what the hell if the screen gets cut off with that too or if it's just this game. It's so weird. Up the crack. Up your butt crack. Or maybe I'm hoping it's just this game because it's gonna be really annoying playing other games if the shit's all like fucked up like this. It's not too bad. It's just annoying because there are some parts of my screen that are cut off, like just text. Luckily, most of the important shit isn't cut. Smoke in the distance. Probably the crashed ship we're looking for. They're angry at each other. Watch us killing that guy just made us lose like a guy who'd been like, I'll be your friend. Give you information. But I murdered that dude and we're not going to be happy with it. ever stopped you, Sam. Come on, hack this thing. Pathfinder, it is not just a simple lock. We have never encountered a cat device with security like this before. I suggest we bring it back to the Tempest for further analysis. Suvi might be able to figure it out. Alright. Alright, there we go. There we go, back to the Tempest. And it'll be like, come back to this planet, to go to this planet, to here. And I'll be like, when the fuck was I on that Tarzan world in Kingdom Hearts 1? Hello. It's almost unbelievable that some of the cat would be found. And I got on. emails. Thank the cat always seems so monolithic, almost faceless. There's so much we still don't know about how their society functions. The stuff you've brought in is helping shape the sure has no texture. There, it's coming in. Speaking of which, this device you found at that destroyed cat ship, it's secured with a biometric lock that can only be activated with a specific genetic code. So, like a fingerprint scan, except with a genetic fingerprint. Exactly. Whatever's in this, it's probably only meant for trusted individuals. So you're saying I have to track down some cat? But that would be impossible, Ryder. Remember those cat genetic samples you scanned on Vault? Lexi's been working on the data, and I have an idea that just might work. We should go talk with her when you have time. Do I ever have any time? I got like a hundred of shit that you guys tell me to do. I'm a pathfinder, but I've been like everyone's lackey. Oh, get movies and popcorn and shit for the movie night that I have not seen. I guess it already happened for all I know. I'm upset. <laughs> Data's right here, but I'm not sure what you're expecting to find. Tell me you have it all sequenced. Yes, of course. It was the first thing I... Perfect. Sam, can you test combinations of sequences against the lock? Testing. Brute force, Dr. Anwar? Tried and true methods. And with Sam's processing speed, it should take no time... Key found. Whoa. Uh -huh. We thought it was a data log, but, it, but it's not. It's... It's... Porn. Uh... It just locked onto a transmission. Does it compromise our security? 
The device is a receiver. It will not reveal our location. I was hoping we found Ket Horn. Audio. The Archon has abandoned our way. Spurn's tradition defies protocol. He abuses his authority, obsesses over remnant secrets, and keeps us cut off from home. This cannot continue. He will return to the path of right or be destroyed. This is my promise. An Archon oh no, my battery's low. Someone's gunning for the Archon. I'd say that's something we can exploit. You don't mean try to make some kind of deal? Don't know yet. What else is in the transmission? It's the same stuff. It repeats. I, I wonder if there's a way to trace the signal. Scanning for nav point. Oops. It is I'll charging. transmit it to your Omni tool in case you want to check it out. I what do you tool. think we'll find out there? I don't Orn. know. It might be a base of Ket dissidents organizing against the Archon. Whatever it is, please be careful, Ryder. I won't. I'll probably go and ask Sam to just kill me again. But now with that ability, now that uh, Ryder knows about it, he'll use that to get out of any situation, like any event. Oh, a family get-together! I died. <laughs> Sorry, can't be there. Uh, Sam killed me. Alright. Go sort signal on EOS, of course. Gotta go back to fucking EOS. We never leave this place. We always keep coming back. It definitely was that first planet feel where you're just like, ah, bad memories of not knowing what the fuck you were doing and getting annoyed. Why? Because I played on the harder difficulty when I first fucking started. I did not have a lot of fun. I was at first, but then I was like, this is going to take forever. I would probably not even still be at this point. I probably would just be getting to a, uh, like an earlier part of the game. I don't know. I just know I would not be where I'm at. I would have been stuck on something. And it would have changed. But I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it now. Oh, hey, did my headset get disconnected? Cool. Oh, I didn't even have a headset. I have headphones that are able to my computer that I use to hear the game because I route the audio through my desktop, but that's besides the point. For a while, when I first did the recordings and streams with my capture card, I didn't have, uh, I couldn't get the desktop audio to work because it was just crackling all the time. So I had to listen, I had to go through my capture card's audio device, which worked fine, but I had to listen to the game through the TV because I uh, didn't have anything to hook up into my TV for headphones or anything like that. And you could just plug headphones into your PlayStation controller and the sound will output through that, but then the, the uh, ca capture card wouldn't pick up the sound. So I was like, well, this blows. <laughs> So I literally had the TV on like very low vo volume. It happened during like the really early stages of uh, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop. I had to read all the subtitles. I barely could hear what was going on. Because so I was like, well, I can't hear the audio very well. I could hear it, but it was like so low so it wouldn't echo into the microphone because you'd hear the volume. But the problem was I had no idea what the volume levels were either. I still barely get them right on this. Locate the source of the signal on EOS. It's around here, is it not? It has something to do with going underneath in this thing. Dead tech here. Where the hell could it be? Hmm. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. 
you can extract minerals via your mining interface. Cat signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. Oh, but that's not what we're looking for. It's telling me it's right here. Hmm. It's not a cave somewhere, is there? Not there. Now I'm here, but where the hell does that lead me? Unless it changed now. We'll drive around this area and just see if something pops up. I mean, there's this over here, but I don't know if this has anything to do. We can always check. This is cliff, a cave. Ah, maybe this is where we gotta go. Let's try this. Actually, use the nomad first because I don't want to fucking jump off and then run. Can we probably destroy this? Can that not cat? <laughs> like, nah, it'll be fine. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. Aha, uh -huh, so it was a cave. See, at least I looked around. I tried. I would have just given up before and been like, fuck this, I can't figure it out. They're gonna fight us. Loot from our outposts. And an Ark escape pod? Where did they get that? Doesn't matter. They're not keeping it. I was gonna say, we know where we they got it. They dropped pods here, but maybe it wasn't supposed to, this was supposed to be way before. I don't fucking know. So much for making a deal. What if we just say we hate the Archon? That should stir some buttons. Only this hit a little harder. Carnifex is the strongest one, though. It doesn't have a great rate of fire, I don't think. It's been a while since I've used it, since, like, the beginning of the game. Very interesting place they set up here. No. This is the nav points Duke gave us, but there's nothing here. Just this beacon. They're being careful. Speaking out against the Archon will have consequences. The true location of the transmission will be hidden. Right. Watching the corners. These caves could be a good shelter if people need it. Signs of catch still linger. There's no getting rid of them. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for. All right, where do you want me to go here? Over there? Uh, it's just a drive. I don't need to fast travel if it's just right ahead. Another cave, anyway. First outpost. 
It must mean something to you. Hopefully, Prodromos sets a high bar. Aya is watching what happens on Eos very closely. And I love that our first home was a desert. I would have fucking hated it because I don't like the heat. I would be like, yeah, you can just keep me in my cryopod. I'll I'll wait till you get a nice cooler like planet. Not too cold, but better than a desert. Drove right into them. I will go over here for. <laughs> Interesting. Tracking all these ket things still on EOS. Stuff. Nothing on the game, just reading messages for me and other important things I gotta make sure to take care of later today. Pathfinder, this area can be mined for resources. You can extract minerals Depleted. by mining interface. Wow, the remnant took over. Let's check it out. God, why did I lose control? I don't have my wavy fucking turns on. That was we weird. My agility well mode. By... The Black Rock signal comes and goes. You've evened out the weather, but I wouldn't call reception clear. Neil still feels frontier. Claim, but not tame, we like to say. Alright, well, I ran into a shitstorm. That's fine. Look, he got frozen too. Scan it just from here. Man. Yep, good. I can walk on this bubble. I found an edge I could climb up on a sphere. You guys got me on a fucking wild goose chase all over the place. Where the hell are we going now? All the way up there? Thank God I have a travel point. That's why every time I go into these worlds, I'm like, all right, let's try to grab as many if I want. Or things that are very spread out, because you know that the game's going to make you go to these points. And if even if we don't revisit the place, then it's nice. But luckily, we've been, you know, revisiting all these spots. Nomad cannot be called here. Well, that's crazy, because I'm driving it. Around. This area can be Thank you, Sam. Resources. You can extract minerals via your mining interface. I'm learning new things every day by you, Sam, even though you've told me a hundred times. Oh, come on. Which? There we go. Don't be a bitch. I'm going up steeper. That little bump should be nothing. The transmission is strong and unobstructed here. Damn. Oh God. Ambush and frame drops, but mostly an ambush. 
Not really. We kind of just walked into it. I didn't see anybody at first. Dude, that sticky grenade fucked that guy's shields up. It does good da Everything we these guys got are now effective against armor and shield that we can take everything out. Turn on a light, please. Exaltation lifted our ancestors out of sorrow. Ah, the Thoken. Broken tribulation. This noble gift now allows us to raise others and share in the genetic bounty of this galaxy. But the other. Well, we found it. This looks like a comm console. It's probably what's sending out the messages. Too bad there's nothing else here. And so you have found me. You are a single-minded creature, Pathfinder. I see it now. Your determination will grant the Ket dominion over this galaxy. Determination is a personality trait, not a genetic one. Not the personality is something you understand. Or have. You waste time on pettiness. I did not reveal myself as a traitor easily. I did so only because I seek a mutual benefit. Getting rid of the Archon. The Archon's obsession with the Remnant incites chaos and endangers all we've worked for. This must end. I take it you need my help for this? I am Kent. I do not need help. I would use you as a tool to hasten the Archon's destruction. I need only ensure nothing stands between you and your target. Once he is cut down, the Remnant will cease to be a concern. We will complete our purpose here and leave. Yeah, exaltation. One day you will be family. Till then, fight if you must. But I offer a reprieve from this conflict, so you can destroy a mutual enemy. It'll give us an ace in our back pocket. Just make sure the gun's loaded when we use it. The Ket cannot be trusted. Ryder, think. What exactly do I get from this deal? Sometime soon, I will be called upon by the Archon to destroy you. When that time arrives, I will provide you with the means to disable my ship. Or you could just leave me alone. And should you fail to bring down the Archon, <laughs> if you could just leave me alone. You make me sick. Why do you oppose the Archon? The Archon says he will use Meridian to dominate this cluster. He says Meridian will bring us victory. We have never needed Remnant to be victorious. No, he wants me. I am not alone in this thought. Fine. Anything that'll help me kill the Archon. During our next clash, I shall lower my ship's defenses and allow you to use a kill code to disable it. I have transmitted the code to the console in this room. I bid you goodbye, Pathfinder. We will not speak again. Then we see each other again. Hello! Alright, well now we have that, though I doubt it'll actually help, but we'll see. We'll see. I think we can leave now. We did everything we needed here. Now we got that little ace in the pocket, I guess, or whatever the fuck, but I, I don't know. I'm not ace in the hole. But I'm not sure how trustworthy it'll be or how helpful it'll actually be. I feel like I could easily just fight you guys, but sure. Oh man, we getting a lot done. We got like nothing. I remember when my list was so fucking long. Like, now it's just this. We gotta wait. Welcome back. Thank you. You have new email. Not, not my Pop fucking Finder. personal one, probably. It's just probably Joel or somebody saying thank you for doing this. All right, we're doing this now. 
Finally onto the main shit. Hope you're excited. <laughs> I am. All right, where are we going this way? Things gonna be crazy. She's <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. You know why I'm watching you. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks, other me. I'm crazy. I know. Blocking my view. Docking Bay. I know I got a lot of things still to do on Nexus, but I don't. I don't care. The only thing I would care about on the Nexus is seeing my sister. She's been out cold. It'd be cool if they're like, your sister can come in for a final mission, and then she's actually your companion kind of thing, and then you just level her up to have whatever abilities just like you, because she's supposed to be your, whoever you play as would be the same. That'd be fun. Just make her OP with like all the moves in the world, and she she could use it easily, but no, she doesn't have uh, Sam in her, so she, I don't think she can. I recall I couldn't do everything with or maybe I could do stuff without Sam I don't know because let's see what do we even got on Nexus we still got like everything else yeah see so that I don't care about I don't care and nah. I just cared about like the portent missions really my way like the one of the crew guys said I, I sl just slept for 600 years I could sleep for another 600 already the fatigue and being tired has set into the humans rewardingly killed guys report the same shit all the time don't you Here we go. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Ryder made a sentimental choice saving those Krogan. He looked at them and thought of you. Ryder's his own person. Just admit you don't like Krogan. <clears throat> the Pathfinder. Ryder, we were just discussing your encounter with the Archon. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. Such is the burden of leadership. Nevertheless, it is good to see Ark Parchero reunited with the Nexus. No, we really care much for ten. What we gained provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I like you, Ryder. I really do. Of course, there's going to be problems. Your plan. Then I will. And so will I. I agree. The Pathfinder's chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. I'm just, I don't fucking care. I don't like Tan too much anyway. I never Why did. Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your sister is awake. What? Go. We'll talk later. 
in the tech lab. I like how they're nice enough to be like, go, 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 go now. And instead of being like, no, sh fuck, no, we got shit to talk about. It's important right now. Fuck your sister. And they're like, go, go, family's important. Thank God everyone actually understands, I guess. <laughs> they could have just been like, no, we got to fucking talk about this cat shit right now. There's no time for sisters. It only took until probably the halfway to the end of the game for her to fucking wake up. I wish we would have had more interactions while she was sleeping. Little brother. But you could just Bring not you. hug. Just Man, not it's hug. Good to finally see you. It's good to see anything. I was starting to think I'd never wake up. You and me both. A condition like that? No one was sure what would happen. At least I got to be first at something. First woman in Andromeda to wake up from a coma. Dad always said relish the victories. Won't be many of them. Yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't there when he died. There's nothing anyone could have done. I wasn't even sure I should tell you. I'll miss him. But I also know he'd be the first to say, get over it, and get on with it already. Oh, there's been plenty of that. So I hear, Mr. Pathfinder. Not by choice. From the sounds of it, you're going to need all the help you can get. Careful. No way are you fit for duty, miss. That stubborn skull of yours needs a chance to heal. Says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Yes, sir. Pathfinder, sir. <laughs> oh, back to sleep. Oh, who are we kidding? <laughs> I saw you eat your own boogers when you were six. If you two want to catch up some more, that's fine. But no getting out of bed. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Ricks. We have some ideas about Meridian. Come by the tech lab as soon as oh, possible. Oh, speak with Sam about an online we'll thing. Sam going to tell me about it? Because what if I didn't see that on the top right of my screen? Probably wondering how things have been going. Yeah, feeling a little out of it. I know you're Pathfinder, <laughs> but not much else. Did they make you president of the universe too? I'll pass. I've got enough on my plate. How's the job so far? In a nutshell, we found an alien terraforming network that spans the cluster. We're going to reactivate it at some place called Meridian. Wow, is that all? Nope. There's also a race of aliens called Ket that wants to turn all of us into them, and their leader, a guy named Archon, wants me dead. Uh, right. Maybe taking a long nap wasn't so bad. <laughs> you should know. Dad was keeping some secrets from us. How do you mean? First off, Sam's a lot smarter than he let on. Also, his connection to Dad, and now me, is way more powerful than the other Sams. I never knew that. What was Dad up to? Seeing his memories. Dad encrypted memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? You, me, and Mom. You saw her? In the hospital, the day she passed away. And at that reunion dinner she twisted our arms on. Right. Awkward. <laughs> and something else. Dad meeting with a benefactor back in the Milky Way. Some initiative power broker I'd never heard of. Me either. Weird. He was a secret keeper. Yeah. Still trying to figure out what it all means. I thought maybe we could talk about mom and dad. What about them? Thought you might want to know how dad died. Not really. I've been wondering. First planet we landed on. There was an atmosphere processor. It was malfunctioning. Dad managed to power it down. Saved us all. But there was an accident. My helmet broke. I couldn't breathe. And then Dad gave me his. He sacrificed himself. Only one of us could make it. And he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. I remember the stories about Dad being an N7. The things people said he did in the military. I guess it was true. You should have seen him in action. He was incredible. Good. That's how I'll remember him then. Like he sucked. What do you remember about how they met? As mom tells it, he was doing his N7 training on Earth. She was a scientist working on biotic implants. 
He was trying real hard to pull off a bad boy in uniform thing and failing, but she thought it was charming and struck up a conversation. Dad mostly just grunted. She finally had to ask him out. Our dad, the ladies' man. Then he went off to ah. fight the first contact war. When that was over, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? I like how we're just asking her a bunch of Dad questions. She just woke up. Every kind of alien you could imagine. I remember trying to play hide-and-seek with some Hanar. It was no fair because they could float. Looking back, it's probably why I'm here. I saw how mind-bogglingly enormous the universe really is. What do you remember about Mom's biotic research? That was back when biotic abilities were a total mystery. She was a pioneer, helping people cope by designing... That fucking guy. What are you looking at? Though. Yeah, turn away. Oh, no, you're looking again. From ESO exposure. You still think about Mom? When I woke up, I forgot she was dead for a second. I looked around for her. Then I remembered. Dad talked about her before we left on our first mission. He didn't show it, but he never stopped thinking about her. He wasn't the same after she was gone. At least they're together now. Feeling homesick at all? Well, all I've seen so far is this med bay. We could still be on Earth for all I know. <laughs> but yeah. Before we went into stasis, I was missing my life, or at least the idea of it. Which part do you miss most? Looking for Prothean artifacts. Ah, the Prothean. Special Exo Archaeology Unit, fully funded and sanctioned by the Alliance. My job, as in they paid me to do it, was to help dig up more artifacts and learn whatever we could from them. If things hadn't gone sour, it would have been a great life. What about the Reapers? What was wrong with how things really were? Well, Mom was gone. I'm not sure I'll ever fill the hole she left. And Dad, it hurt him more than he let on. Plus, his research on Sam was illegal as hell. He was trying to save her, and maybe the initiative looked the other way, but the Alliance didn't. After they discharged him, whenever people found out I was his daughter, door slammed in my face. Being Alec Ryder's kids in the Milky Way, we were in for a lifetime of dreams that were never going to happen. Well, I should let you rest up. Yeah, only way to recover from a coma is getting more sleep. Yeah. It won't be much longer. At least take some pictures of Meridian for me. I can pretend I was there. Sad that you become useless. Imagine if they made it where you play as her and all you do is just, you wake up from the coma with her. It's just, oh, everything you were doing as Pathfinder was just a coma for her, and everything he was doing was actually happening. All right, hold on, we got this. We're gonna go see a note about an unlocked memory, because that's also important. But if you are joining later on in this and wondering why the fuck she looks like that, I customized her to be that way. Ryder was all bright, like the red eyes, the brownish hair, that's what she's got that same color hair, and a neck tattoo. I gave her a forehead tattoo, and I think I gave her bright blue eyes, and I just threw lipstick on her because why not? 